Hello everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And this is The Bible Reloaded. And we have huge things happening right now. Uh, we are actually filing a lawsuit to uh, the Cristiano Films Group and 5 and 2 Pictures uh, because uh, in the past... Obviously, you're aware if you're a fan of this show. If you're if you're not, this is new information to you. They have DMCA'd us in the past. Yes. Uh, all the time, it's been false. Uh, we have beat them, I don't know how many times, two or three times at this point. And uh, we have had really, really bad interaction with them in the past. However, through a series of emails and long discussions and just uh, like three weeks of bullshit... Uh, Hugo and I finally had broken out of the their uh, last DMCA, which was on our review of Matter of Faith. Uh, and and Hugo, you were the one that had the primary kind of talk with them. Why don't you tell us about that real quick? Basically what happened was we did a review of a Matter of Faith, and about a week or two later we got a DMCA notice. This is pretty common if you are a reviewer on YouTube, or anyone on YouTube, if you use any clips or even talk about anyone else's material at some point, Chances are you've come across the DMCA, and what that is is they send a legal notice to YouTube that tells them that copyrighted material is in the video and it needs to be taken down. Now, this is valid if you, for instance, uploaded a whole movie or large portions of a movie. However, there is part of copyright law called fair use. You've probably heard of this through various videos on YouTube, like people like Doug Walker have done the campaigns Where's the Fair Use, uh, in which... For criticism or satire or comedy, stuff like that, as long as you're using the material in a limited way, you're allowed to use copyrighted material without the authorized consent of the copyright holder, as long as you use it properly. Now, we pride ourselves on, in our videos, especially talking about the Cristiano Brothers movies, we definitely fall in line under fair use. Normally this isn't a problem for us, it's usually an automated system, we bounce back a DMCA to the people who sent it, via their bot, usually, and it gets taken care of. In the case of Five and Two Pictures, however, we actually got a real person. This person will go unnamed, but I had long, long conversations over the course of a few days with them, of them trying to ignore me, but I continued to come back with the defense of fair use. However, uh, instead, they continued to be belligerent. I did, however, get in contact with Dave, who is the head of Five and Two Pictures, or the Cristiano Films Group, and uh, I explained fair use to him as well. Eventually, we came to an understanding, albeit begrudgingly, on the behalf of the person I talk to most of the time. Again, who will remain nameless, though we have come to call him the pirate guy for reasons we will maybe explain in the future. Anyway, so, basically, what happened was, months go by, maybe, it's been like two months at best, uh, and Hugo and I are sitting down to record one of our many videos, and... I get an email, uh, and it gets sent straight to my phone for the business email, and I read it uh, right before we're about to begin, and I start laughing. Like, a lot. And Hugo is a little upset at me, because we're supposed to be working. Uh, he's very professional, uh, when the hot microphone is sitting in front of him. But, uh, so I read the email to him, and it turns out that YouTube sent me an email, uh, letting us know that 5 and 2 Pictures, Cristiano Film Group, has sent five DMCA notices to our channel. However, in that in that email, even YouTube, yes, even YouTube, under their new system, said, hey, we're pretty sure you fall under fair use. We're just letting you know this happened. Yeah. So here's the thing. We have the list of all five of those DMCAs. The first three are movie reviews that we did. Hugo, tell the people what the movie reviews are. We did uh, Crime of the Age, which several which other people... Which is terrible. Have, yeah, several... Terrible. Several other people have also done that, including Brad Jones, the cinema snob. Uh, End of Harvest, which is another one starring also, the... Hey, also terrible. Yeah, hey, Scotty Jesus Man guy. And uh, Time Changer. Now, Very bad. All of these movies, we didn't use clips from the movies. Instead, we used stills. Now, why did we do right. this? Because in our discussions with Dave from 5 and 2 Pictures, he was actually a very nice guy. His employee was belligerent and very mean to us. However, Dave seemed like a nice guy who probably just had a bad employee. So, I agreed to Dave, and in fact, the employee in the future will just use still images. Because, whatever, if it makes you feel better. Although, legally, under fair use, we can use short clips. This was us being nice. Which apparently right. was a bad decision. 
This was us basically extending uh, an olive branch. We're, we're, we're trying to make amends because this is our job. This is their job. We kind of, we're all in a similar peer group um, in this media creation business. And we're just like, you know what? Fuck it. Your videos aren't that visually interesting anyways. We'll just, you know, we can review the movie with clips. It's fine. So we did that. So we got DMCA'd on all those. Uh, just, by the way, still images, and in uh, Crime of the Age, we used uh, some some audio, but not a lot. And that was because we needed to explain how poor the acting was. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so it was uh, for review purposes. Anyways, so the other two DMCAs, because remember, there are five, not three. In the other two, the pirate guy, the employee that represents the Cristiano Film Group... DMCA two videos in which we are discussing the prior DMCA. We used zero. You can't. It's DMCA exception. You cannot DMCA <laughs> someone. We didn't use any footage from anything in those. We weren't even really talking about the movies. We were talking about their terrible DMCA policies. Now, <laughs> here's what Pirate Guy was trying to do, and I don't know if his employers knew what he was doing or if he went lone wolf on this one. But at this point, it doesn't really matter because he was under their employ and he was acting on their behalf. Now, what I think happened was he was stewing for a couple of months, still mad at us, and mad at me in specific because I stopped him from doing what he does all the time. If you don't know, they have a reputation on YouTube for if you review any of their stuff negatively, they will DMCA you to take it down. Not just us. I have gotten dozens of messages on various social medias by much smaller YouTubers. We're talking a thousand subscribers, under a thousand, maybe like five thousand that did movie reviews of this, that got DMCA'd, and their channel's crippled because they don't have a big enough following to really make a lot of noise. Right. I assume I and Jake, by extension, were the first people to step in and say, hey, no, this isn't cool, we're big enough, we're not going to put up with your bullying. Now, they seemed very surprised that anyone stood up against them. The guy didn't even know how to undo the DMCA the first time around. Yeah, I had to... That's how few people get to fight him. Like, Brad, by the way, from from, uh, the Cinema Snob... He actually just took down the the video he had done of their movie and just capitulated and was just like, you know what, I'm out. And I don't blame him because that guy was fucking hard to deal with. Yeah. But Hugo, the little trooper that he is, pulled himself up by his bootstraps and kicked Pirate Guy right in the junk. Yeah. So I assume what happened was a couple months went by, we reviewed a couple more of their movies, as we said, in stills, those are the ones they recently DMCA'd. He probably got wind of this at some point in his searches over the internet, got mad because we were still criticizing them, and then attempted to find five videos he could maybe argue were DMCA-able. We've only done three of their movies since then, though. He couldn't redo A Matter of Faith because we've already gotten that removed, so he found three, and presumably he tried to find two others that were as close as possible to the criteria. <laughs> And what he found was us talking about him being a jerk with the DMCAs. Now, on these, by the way, you have to fill out the DMCA form saying what copyrighted material is in the video you want to take down and how much of it appears in. Here's a screenshot, by the way. These two videos, again, are the ones that have no copyrighted material. Not talking about the movies. The first one, they say... Uh, the title of the original video was Second Glance, which is the Hey Scotty Jesus Man video. We've never done that movie. Never done ever. that movie. And it says, where does the content appear? Entire video implying that we just uploaded the video, even though that video is, what, 10, maybe 20 minutes long, something like that. Uh, and then the second one was <laughs> A Matter of Faith. That wasn't the Matter of Faith review, though. It was yet another one in which we were explaining the, the how wrong they are in their DMCA system is. Now... Five DMCAs at once. If YouTube had accepted those, do you know where our channel would be right now? In the ether, gone. Yeah. Okay, so, and also, by the way, he knows that the DMCA values changed because it it is now four strikes on your channel, and then you're gone. It's no longer the two at, Three. at a time because YouTube had changed their, uh, their system. So he went the extra mile and chose to DMCA us five times at once to try to silence us. This is obvious targeted abuse and harassment and i'm not kidding this falls under legal harassment and also perjury by the way filing a false dmca claim is federally recognized perjury that's not okay and you did that five times pirate guy so here's what's happening because of that we Got into contact with uh, FUPA, the Fair Use Protection account, which is uh, the, the account spearheaded by H3H3 Productions here on YouTube. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with that, uh, Ethan. 
in, in their fight against copyright, which is still ongoing. Uh, from there, we actually got a hold of one of the two main lawyers for that. Now, we're not going directly through FUPA at this time because they're just swamped, but we are going through Michael Lee, who was one of the two main lawyers for that account. And he, so we got on a hangout with him after Hugo had emailed him back and forth a little bit. And we're like, hey, what do we do? He looked at the case and goes, oh, buddy, you, you're you going to jump all over this. This is ridiculous. And he literally said, this is the worst abuse he's ever seen as far as DMCA is concerned. The worst that he has seen. And he deals with this all the time. And then he said, we can't do it through FUPA right now, but what we can do is we can set up a, uh, a fundraiser for you, and I'll give you numbers, and I'll give you an estimate, and, and we'll, we'll work it out. And here are the numbers he got. It's $5,000 to start. Uh, this gets us a lawyer on retainer, and then they can begin the process of getting the suit served, negotiations, and other preliminary things we need uh, to, to get the case going. Basically, all the paperwork and the legal mumbo-jumbo. Um, we need this as soon as possible. This is the number one priority right now. Uh, the second one is about $50,000, which I know sounds like a lot, but this is halfway. Uh, this is the halfway point for roughly anything we could possibly need as this case progresses, uh, especially because copyright cases like this are actually more complicated than they seem. They're not like, um, you know, like a drug case where there's a guaranteed sentence for any sort of thing that falls under... Uh, a specific law. Uh, these are all subjective, so they actually have to really get talked through. Uh, we will need this for the obvious stuff like lawyer fees, and uh, we'll need this for the obvious stuff like lawyer fees and legal expenses, but also travel costs for the attorneys and possibly ourselves. If there's a deposition or there's a settlement hearing, we need to be there for that. Uh, so we'll need to be able to fly around the country. Um, and we actually don't have a state locked down yet in where this trial is going to be. And this is all stuff that this would pay for, by the way. Uh, and then, of course, depending on how the case plays out, uh, he recommended strongly that we aim for $100,000. Uh, and he said this should, uh, unless for some reason this went to the Supreme Court, um, in which case we would need more, that this should cover every possible expense uh, or probable expense, including appeals, uh, more lawyer fees, of course, more travel, and other legal expenses. And if every one of our fans donated one dollar, every one of our subscribers, we would hit this immediately. Yeah. We would, we would hit it immediately. Now, uh, this is our GoFundMe. And uh, this is serious stuff. Uh, this is uh, our fight for fair use. And as of right now, uh, we've only, I basically, it just, we tweeted it out right when we made it. Right now, uh, 45 people, it's only been 45 people. Remember, there are 133,000 of you. 45 people have raised $900 already. We are almost, uh, almost 20% on the way to our first goal, which is 5,000, just to get the retainer, to get the lawyers moving on this. That's amazing. Yeah. The support already is crazy. Uh, honestly, if you can donate one dollar to this, or, uh, or whatever you can, honestly, this will help so much. It's not just an us thing, uh, because if it was just an us thing, we might just uh, seek a settlement. Uh, we might just go to them and be like, hey, uh, without the lawyers and shit, look, this is bullshit. Uh, not gonna, not gonna deal with it personally for us. However. The, the, the fact that we've gotten so many emails and tweets and texts and, and comments about this specific company abusing the DMCA on YouTube for creators is just too much. We're taking their asses to court, and we're going to kick the shit out of them. Yeah. Honestly. Not physically. This might get, First of all, <laughs> can I just say this video... If you have a YouTube yeah. channel or know someone that does, no matter how big or small, I give you full permission. Rip this video, put it there with a po with a link to the GoFundMe because I don't care. I want Absolutely. this message spread because this isn't about us. This is about setting precedent and showing companies you can't stop criticism by breaking the law. You can hate us. I get it. We're a controversial type channel and we're douchebags. That's fine. <laughs> but sometimes you need a douchebag to do something nice people won't. So I would like, exactly. if you don't agree with us, that's totally fine. Send us a dollar and say we're assholes and downvote every review we've ever done. That's not the point. The point is showing companies that online, when you're working within the law, 
they can be criticized. Okay? It's this as simple is, as that. This is, it just is. This is not only about DMCA and fair use. This is about freedom of speech. You've seen this go on all year this year and a little bit last year. People trying to police thought or police words you can say. You've seen the new uh, terms of service for uh, YouTube uh, and how loose they are with things like hate speech. This is the kind of shit we're fighting against right now. And this is why we need you. We can't do this alone. Uh, we don't make nearly enough money to fund this. But with you, we can be the fucking people that get this done. Yeah. We can be one of them. H3H3 is going to be uh, doing theirs uh, and, and setting precedent where they are. And we're going to do it again specifically on behalf of non-religious people right now. Because this is obvious Christian people trying to... to make us have less of a voice yeah i mean they just don't like what we're saying right now have you noticed and, by the like, way there are positive reviews of their movie out there using clips that are not dmca'd right yeah exactly yeah. and that's that's really what it is man and this isn't the only company that's done us done this to us but this is the only company that's done this to us after they lost and then did it even worse yeah so we give everyone two strikes this is strike two this is the end we're going all the way for it uh, Cristiano Film Group and uh, Five and Two Pictures. Uh, this is this is going to court. So uh, please, anything that you can uh, offer us, even if it's just a retweet and a share, but uh, if you can afford one dollar, I would appreciate it yeah. because uh, not only we need it, it's everyone, everyone that makes videos on YouTube and has anything just slightly off color to say. This is this is you. This could be you, but we're trying to. We have enough people to make this work. Yes. So, I guess that's it. I guess we have a lot of work to do. Thank you, everyone. It's gonna be probably a rough couple months, if not longer, depending. I'm pretty confident yeah. we're gonna win. I'm not worried about it. But that doesn't mean they're mm -hmm. not gonna try and hurt us in the process. So, I hope you're there to support right. us. We'll and, try and, and update you as we can. Though obviously, in matters like this, you can't just go spouting off about everything. We'll let you know. Right. what we know when we can reasonably if that makes sense so yeah and and that said uh don't think that this is a slam dunk consider this this is such a subjective topic that uh if we got a christian judge and a christian leaning jury we wouldn't win the case and we'd have to appeal it and move off court meaning that we need all the money we can get in preparation for this because we're a minority here in this situation I don't think this will get Supreme Court because no. it's pretty ridiculous that they don't have nearly the case that they would need to get there. But this could get appealed at least once. I, I could totally foresee that happening. And uh, if that happens, uh, it's it's going to be a really long ride. So uh, please come take that ride with us. Yeah. Because uh, we're going to fucking, we're going we're gonna to do this. So thanks, everyone. Again, share this, rip this, put it on your channel. Let other bigger channels know what's going on if they depend on fair use. Because even if they don't like us, that's fine. Maybe they'd understand that this is important to everyone on YouTube. But anyway, until next time, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And this is where the fair use is, motherfucker. <laughs>